All right, so I have connected all of my pages together. If I select each one, you can see how they're all connected. So each menu item on each page, whenever you click it, it will take you to the correct previous page or the next page and so on. One thing is I've identified what my starting page is with this little icon in the corner. So if, you, if your home is not your starting page, like let's say I want to start on this page, I would just click that to switch it over there. I'm just going to select back on my home and select that, save it, and it's time to actually prototype this. Up here in the upper right hand corner I just hit play and it's going to do a desktop preview and I have a fully prototypable website. So the first thing to notice is that as I scroll, right, this isn't moving because remember I checked that fixed position box. Whenever I hit the bottom, I have my footer, looks good. I have these links on the side, so my about link, whenever I click that, moves to my about page. If I click home, it'll move back to my home. Contact will move to my contact page and order will move to my order page. Very, very simple. One final thing that I can do that is really, really helpful is this recording button. If I hit record, it's now recording and see my mouse changes to this little button. So I can show myself kind of scrolling through, clicking on the about page, the contact page, the order page and the home page. And if I hit the end recording, it'll save an MP4 file that I can then view. So I'll just open up that file. And now I have this great video of me actually interacting with my website. This is so powerful for whenever you have an actual client that you're working with, being able to send them this video of how people would interact with the site or having them record their interactions. If you're on a team, you might send this to a bunch of team members and have them record their interactions and then you watch them and say, okay, well, this is working or this isn't working. So once I'm at this phase, once I've prototyped it, I've animated it, it's good to go. The last thing I'm gonna do is share my design right here by clicking share and I can publish it. So I'm gonna publish my prototype. I'm just gonna uncheck allow comments, uncheck that. I can require a password if I like to, but I'll give it a name. So I can call it my prototype for intro to web design. And then I can click this private link down here. Oh, it didn't take my name. Let me do that again. My prototype for web design or whatever you want to name it. I clicked the private link because I don't, you know, I don't really want this for everybody in the public. And you can go ahead and say create private link. If you give it a little bit of time, it'll make a link. You can copy that link and then post it on Blackboard as your submission. Alternatively, you can open in the browser and you should be able to copy this link. So this is what it'll look like. It'll let me preview it within the browser. And this is how you'll submit things.